What's up, y'all? It's your boy BVT609 here at the Avenue C Viaduct. Built by the FEC, of course. And as you guys know, they're double tracking. But what I want to do is show you guys this cool viaduct that you really don't see. You don't see much of these in Florida, period. This is the only closest one that I've known of. And it's pretty cool that it's still here, still standing. However, her demise might come when Brightline comes through. So I don't know if Brightline decides to keep this because of her age and she's, you know, it's a very strong structure or not. I don't know. But let's take a little tour of what we got here. So, of course, you know, we got some a lot of good artwork here along the bridge. A lot of good artwork. All right, and you have your reflective stuff to make sure that people see this column right here. All right, then you have your your support for your beam that sits up on top. As you can see, there's evidence of people trying to make it under here when they maxed out the height, which is eight feet, three inches. And it's evident on this side as well. But as we're walking under here, just note the pristine condition of the bridge. It's really, it's really amazing. Now my question is, this other side, when FEC used to have double track, will it be used by Brightline? Will this viaduct still be here? The same viaduct still be here? Rather than tearing it down and replacing it like they're doing with a lot of other bridges that FEC has, are they going to just reuse it, repurpose it, and build whatever they have over here on this side? You know, knock out those few pieces of concrete, you know, refurbish, rebuild a little things here and there, and do that. Who knows? Future is still unknown of this viaduct which is pretty cool how the cars just roll up under it. And as you can see, of course, you know, people tried to get up under here when they're a little bit above eight feet, three inches. Some of them are four inches and won't fit. If you ain't under three inches, you ain't getting under here. So I, I do wonder, are they gonna rebuild it? Are they gonna repurpose this or no? Honestly, I think it's a very cool structure. One of very few viaducts that I can find or that I know of here in the state. Well, not in the state. Well, here on the FEC. So, hey, drop me a comment. Do you think FEC Brightline is going to keep this viaduct here? Or you think they're going to tear it all down and replace it? Maybe tear this section out and replace this section and then move to the other section. Tear that section out and replace it. Or keep that section there because it's still good, obviously, and just refurbish this whole entire section right here. Who knows? I forgot to mention that I saw these here on the side. So I don't know. Are they going to fully close here and reconstruct it all? I don't know. Those look like road close signs. Those definitely are. Yep, it says road closed. There it is. Make sure it's my sign. I don't know. Maybe they're just going to re rebuild this part right over here. So let's find out. But I was in the area and I was like, you know what? That's a very good question. What will they do? What will they do? Well, anyways, you guys, BBT 609 here at the Avenue C Viaduct on the FEC.